This video describes the trabeculotomy using the Trabex by MST. So we start things off as we normally do with a side port incision, and then we inject some lidocaine into the anterior chamber. We then inject our viscoelastic with a dispersive uh, injected first and then a cohesive that is uh, targeted in the nasal angle. We then create our main incision using a 2.2 millimeter keratome. And uh, then we tilt the uh, microscope 30 to 40 degrees, turn the head of the patient away from the surgeon, and then we ask them to look straight ahead. We bring our uh, gonial prism, and we see here the trabex, which is a uh, trapezoidal design with serrated edges with two different blades, allowing to excise a strip of trabecular meshwork. And this tra trapezoidal design, as well as the serrated edges, allows for a smooth uh, entry of the device into the canal and uh, we really don't have to change the angle of approach uh, when we're starting our trabeculotomy which is quite nice we can just um, oppose the um, trabex on the trabecular meshwork and then slide it in the direction that we're going we can go uh, completely opposite and go uh, on the left side and then on the right side allowing for about 90 degrees of um, trabeculotomy. Uh, and really I found it to be quite uh, smooth in its entry uh, coming in and out of the canal. And it gives us a nice strip. And we're seeing here when we're going back within that area of uh, excised trabecular meshwork, it's uh, really uh, a nice, uh, nice area that is devoid of any meshwork remaining. And then we examined our strip, which was uh, quite nice and interesting to see uh, the uh, majority of the uh, trabecular meshwork that has been removed. Then we go ahead and do our cataract surgery using a quick chop technique, which went quite uneventfully. We have a hemi flip here of the uh, nucleus. We place our uh, intraocular lens into the capsular bag. And uh, we then start looking at uh, if there's any flow from the uh, nasal angle in the aqueous veins, which is one of the uh, potential prognostic signs. And always when we're coming in and out of the eye, we're trying to man maintain the anterior chamber with either a uh, balanced salt solution or some viscoelastic. And here when we're hydrating our incisions, we're seeing these aqueous veins blanch in that nasal angle at two different spots. And this is really something that we feel is a, a potential uh, positive here for uh, our patients and this patient did quite well with pressures in the mid-teens and minimal heme postoperatively. 